Early access provided by EA Fire Monkeys, presented by EA Game Changers. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the Moroccan Marvel House template that you unlock if you complete the Magical Morocco live event in the time limit. So, this house can be found on the standard and a premium residence under the driveway homes tab if you manage to complete the live event in the time limit. The first one of each is free, and then after that, it will cost simoleons based on how many houses you've already built. Let's take a look at it on the standard first. So as this is a driveway homes lot, you get the four parking spaces at the front there so you can add four cars to this house lot. I think this house lot is absolutely gorgeous. The bay windows really finish it off, I think. And the bay windows are actually one of the prizes in this live event. If you want to see all the prizes available in the Magical Morocco live event, then check out my video and post on that. Let's take a look inside this house now. So you've got this little entrance hall here with the curtain door frames, they're really cool. The curtains actually pull back and part as your sims walk through them. I really love the teal wallpaper, I think it goes really well with the Morocco themed items. On this side of the house we have a bedroom, then we have a bathroom in the middle, and then we have another bedroom all down this hallway. And at the end we've got this little seating area so you've got two bay windows and some more seats there weren't any bathroom items or really any bedroom items in this live event so they've just used ones that i think go quite well with the rest of the items really love those windows as well those lovely arched patterned windows some really gorgeous items available from this live event So in the middle of the ground floor you've got a set of stairs, again they're also from the live event. But let's take a look at the right hand side from the front, so it's pretty much the same as the left hand side. You've got the bedroom at the front here, then again you've got the bathroom in the middle, then another bedroom, and then the seating area at the end. I think it works really well though, the layout, you've got the pool in the middle there. So there's plenty of room for guests who would love to stay in this house, I'm sure. So let's take a look at the second floor now. So you've got these gorgeous stairs here, I love that staircase that leads up to the second floor. Now there's an issue with those arches, I think it's probably just the early access version causing the arches to not blend in very well with the wallpaper as you can see. So hopefully that is actually fixed on the actual version. But you've got this lovely balcony area that overlooks the pool. And a gorgeous balcony all the way round. You've got the outside dining table. And a little seating area over here. So what they've done is they've blended some of the items from the Desert Oasis live event in with this build. And I think they work really well together. So let's take a look at the right hand side first. So we've got a bathroom at the end again, and then we've got this gorgeous large living room. Look at that TV, it's massive. You've also got the bubble blowers in the middle. I'm quite surprised how teal and red actually go really nicely together. Because the wallpaper and those chairs looks great. And all the gold like trims for the doors and pictures really love it. So on this side of the house we have a dining room slash kitchen. So we've got more of the bay windows there and again that dining table and chairs is from the Desert Oasis live event. It's the same one that's outside on the balcony. I don't really like the kitchen because nothing really matches. We've just got a mishmash of items. The island definitely doesn't go with the rest of it. That is the second floor. So let's head upstairs now to the third floor. So this is more of just like a landing area and a balcony. So you've got the staircase and a gorgeous big balcony. There's three more dining tables up here so if they've got loads of guests over they can have a lovely big barbecue together. And on this side we've got a nice little seating area again. And you've got those gorgeous fireplaces from the Desert Oasis live event as well. They look really good in the corner there. So up one more floor now. And this is just 
a little seating area really to overlook the rest of the house and the desert background. I love it, I think it's gorgeous. So that is how the house looks on a standard residence. Let's take a look at it on the premium residence now. The main house is exactly the same on the standard and the premium residence, but they've added a little bungalow at the back on the premium residence. You can also see there's another pool there as well. So this could be like a little holiday home, they could rent it out to people. And they've got their own private pool for that bit. And the people who live in the main house have their own pool as well, so it works out well. I'm going to briefly show you the house on the premium residence, even though it's exactly the same as it was on the standard residence. While we're on the ground floor we might as well check out the bungalow at the back here. I think this is really cute, it's like the perfect holiday home. So you've got a large kitchen dining room area in the middle here. And over here we've got the living room. I think we do need a TV in here though. But it's a good sized living room. Just a shame about those archways. I'm hoping it's fixed in the actual version though. And on this side we've got a bathroom and we've got a bedroom. And these look very similar to how they look in the main house they followed the same design which I really like. Let's continue our quick tour of the main house. That was my tour of the Moroccan Marvel house. If you complete the Magical Morocco Live event in the time limit, you will unlock this house template. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and please subscribe to my channel. I will regularly post Sims 3 Play videos. I also have a blog, thegirlgames.blog, and on there you can find loads of posts about the Sims 3 Play, including all of the update posts. Thanks for watching. Bye!